Hello, welcome to the Foundation in Computational Plant Science course at Michigan State University. This course is part of the IMPAX initiative, which stands for Integrated Training Model in Plant and Computational Sciences. This course is part of an NSF-funded research traineeship program grant. This course assumes no prior experience in plant biology or coding. It is impossible to teach the breadth of introductory plant biology and data science in a single semester. Rather, this course selects specific examples in which mathematical and modeling approaches intersect with the biology of plants. These course materials will be made public so that anyone can learn Python and plant biology. In this course, we will be using Jupyter Notebooks. Jupyter stands for Julia, Python, and R, the coding languages that are compatible within this framework. Jupyter Notebooks are a convenient way to share and learn code. So let's get started. The first step is to download Python. Go to jupyter.org backslash install. There, follow the instructions to install Jupyter using the Anaconda distribution. You can follow the link to directly download Anaconda, and there it will be available in any platform you need, Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. Install the most recent version of Python. Follow the instructions to install uh, Anaconda on your platform, and after you have, you have installed Jupyter Notebook. To run the notebook, you need to go to the terminal. In Mac and Linux, there's a terminal program, um, and on Windows, there is a command prompt. Once you're in terminal, um, at the prompt, all you need to type is Jupyter with a Y space notebook and press enter. The Jupyter Notebook runs from your browser. It is not going to a website. It is running locally from your computer through the browser. It has a very intuitive graphical interface. And when it opens, it will show you your home directory or whichever directory you have specified that it should run from um, and the files in that directory, which will eventually be populated with many Jupyter IPython notebooks. Uh, let's create our very first notebook. You just go to the upper corner and select New, and we will create our uh, IPython notebook. The notebooks consist of cells. The cells can either be code or markdown. You determine what type of cell you have by going up to this drop-down menu and selecting the type. So let's get started and write our very first code. Uh, to create a variable in Python is extremely easy. You just give it a name, uh, give it an equal sign, and then assign it a value. Uh, we are going to calculate the area of a circle. So let's first create a value of pi in the variable pi. In notebooks, to execute a cell and run the code within the cell, you press shift enter. On the side, you will see that a number will appear uh, showing that you have run the cell. Now that you've run the cell, pi should have a value. So if we just press shift enter, um, it will process the variable pi and show that it's equal to 3.14159. We can also run functions in these cells. We use the print function. A function is something that takes inputs and gives you an output back. Uh, print will print the values of whatever you put within it. So let's put our variable pi in the print function um, in our cell, and then we press shift enter, and the output is uh, the print statement of 3.14159. So if you want to calculate the area of a circle, let's create some more variables. Let's set the radius initially equal to 1, and we'll create another variable of area, capital A, and it will be equal to pi times um, r squared. In Python, you have all the mathematical operations. You have um, uh, you have plus, minus, you do multiplication through an asterisk, uh, you can do division, and you can do exponentiation by doing a double asterisk. So uh, we've specified our radius, pi, and we've calculated a new variable using these other variables, area. And we press shift enter. And we can see um, what is the area of our circle, and it's 3.14159. Uh, 
uh, we could go back up here and assign um, some other value to radius and we can see uh, what the area of our circle is. So um, that's a little bit about coding cells. Let's look at the other cell type in a Jupyter notebook. Uh, so we go up to this drop down and we convert now to a markdown cell. Markdown is um, a type of code um, that, uh, when it's processed, gives you formatted text. And it can create really beautiful uh, formatting for text in Jupyter Notebooks. So let's do a little bit of markdown. Um, to find all the um, uh, markdown that you need to know, just Google markdown cheat sheet. And you can find everything that we're going to talk about today there. So uh, let's say we wanted a heading. Uh, you can use a hashtag. Um, if you only use one, um, it's a really big heading. But the more hashtags you put, um, the smaller the um, headings get. And so you can have a, a big heading, and you can have other uh, smaller headings, still in bold, uh, but smaller and subheadings. So that's our markdown, and we put it into our markdown cell. And just like a code cell, we execute the markdown cell. And it should give us back formatted text based on our markdown. So if we press Shift Enter again, you can see that we have our uh, formatted markdown uh, cell. Uh, there's a lot of other uh, types of markdown formatting. Um, a single asterisk uh, gives you uh, italic. Um, if you want to create a separate line, you do two spaces. Oh, sorry, two spaces and press enter. And you can also do um, italic with a single underscore. Um, you can also do bold with two asterisks. Or two underscores. And you can combine um, uh, bold and italic, uh, for example, through three asterisks. OK, so uh, we put some more markdown in our cell, and we press Shift-Enter, and we should get our formatted uh, text back. Markdown can also be used for lists. Um, to make a list is very simple. You just put the number, period, followed by a space. Um, and you can say this is the first item. This is the second item. This is the third item. And you can even create uh, subheadings by using double space. And uh, unordered items are just an asterisk. Um, so this is an unordered sub item. And we press Shift Enter, and then we get a nice list. You can also use that asterisk to create an unordered list. And oh, uh, actually, we'll put this in another cell. Um, and you can see that as it stands right now, this is a markdown cell, but this is a code cell. And we need to convert this code cell to a markdown cell first before it goes into markdown. So we press shift enter, we have our numbered list. We press uh, shift enter and we have our unordered list. And you can also very conveniently put in links into markdown as well. Um, so you can say, for example, this is a link to Google. Um, and that will be the text for the hyperlink. And then you actually put the uh, link that you want um, itself. And then if we press Shift Enter again, um, this should give us a link. And it goes to Google. So that is a bit about uh, a Jupyter Notebook. Um, once you've done uh, what you uh, wanted to do and you're coding within a Jupyter Notebook, uh, you can give it a name. Um, 
we'll call this our first notebook. Uh, you can rename it, you can save it. Um, there's auto saving that's happening as you're going so that uh, in, in case something really bad happens, you can revert back. And uh, once you've saved your notebook, uh, you can download it in a variety of different formats. For this course, we'll be uh, primarily using IPython notebooks. This is just a simple text file. Um, and it has the .ipynb uh, extension, which is the uh, IPython uh, notebook um, extension. So you can just download that um, and you also have uh, all these icons that you can do things with. Um, you can save. Um, if uh, you get into a lot of complicated code eventually and it's going for too long, you can stop it. Um, and you can also uh, restart the kernel. The kernel is the metaphorical engine um, that is running your Python code behind the scenes. Uh, but maybe you end up getting stalled and you need to stop or shut down things, you can do that here. And you can also run all the cells of, if you just open your notebook and you want to run everything in order, um, you can uh, use that here as well. So you have lots of options. You can save files, you can download them, and um, that's how you create a notebook. Um, in this class, you will be having your courses provided also in a notebook format. And to do that, uh, you can just upload and find an IPython notebook. And it will ask you, do you want to upload this? And you can say uh, yes. And you can go to the uploaded notebook. And there you have it. Um, other people can look at your notebooks. You can share your notebooks. And the nice thing about notebooks, of course, is that all the code is there. So for example, these are markdown cells. If all, all you have to do is just double click and you can see the code and the markdown uh, that is behind these cells. And you press shift enter to get them back into their normal uh, format. And this is just an example of, for example, our, our first lesson that we're going to look at. And again, all the code is behind there. This will be uh, some of the code in your first video uh, that you'll see. But again, you're just pressing shift enter to execute the, the code of these various cells. And as you're watching these videos, as you're doing your projects, as you yourself are learning to code, you should be coding in these notebooks. And we will provide cells that you provide your answers to, uh, but feel free within a notebook to create more cells. For example, just select a cell, press A and create a new cell above it, or press B and create a new cell below it. Uh, you can delete cells just with X. And you can follow along in the videos, you can code along, um, you can use the videos to stop and pause and learn more about what you need to. You can skip over the whole video or parts of it if you already know the material. Um, and uh, when there's questions provided, um, you can be filling in those cells and um, doing the work as well. Uh, just putting your answer here. Um, and you can learn to code by doing it. Uh, again, you can uh, save these notebooks, download them, turn them in, save them with your classmates, share them with the world, um, and that's the power of a Jupyter Notebook. So uh, there you go. That's how you uh, download Jupyter and Anaconda and start working with Jupyter Notebooks. Um, that's all for this video. Thank you for listening.